Next, the magician will perform another classic trick that has mystified audiences since the days of Houdini. It involves these four transparent tumblers, each one larger than the next. The tumblers actually double in volume. As we can clearly see, the tumblers are of different sizes, and this isn't an optical illusion. The magician takes two of the smaller tumblers, the smallest of which is filled with milk. He pours it from the small glass into the tumbler that is twice its size. Incredibly, the milk has doubled, completely filling the larger glass. The magician takes the next largest glass. Again, this one is twice the size of the tumbler with the milk. He pours the milk into this glass and, again, it miraculously doubles. This tumbler is twice the size of the last, yet the milk fills it to the rim. Now for the biggest glass. As we can see, it too is twice the size of the tumbler with the milk. The magician pours the milk in, once again filling the larger glass completely and defying all laws of science. An amazing trick, named for the Latin phrase multum in parvo, meaning much in little. So how did the magician make the small shot glass of milk double not once, not twice, but three times, completely filling the largest glass? Here are the secrets. You're looking right at them. The glasses aren't exactly what they appear to be. As we can see, there is a solid cylinder filling the center of the tumbler, yet leaving a narrow channel around the sides. This channel is for the milk. Each glass is carefully constructed so that the secret cylinder takes up all but the same amount of space, so each tumbler will hold the same amount of liquid. From this angle, the cylinders are easy to see. The magician begins by pouring the milk from the smallest glass into the next larger one. He's careful to hold the glass so that we can't see the clear cylinder inside. From this angle, we can see the milk cascade off the top of the cylinder, filling the space along the side channel. The process is repeated with the next two larger glasses. Since their inner cylinders are proportionately bigger, the exact same amount of milk appears to fill them equally. There is much in little, especially when you know the secrets.